Hey guys, Uncommon Ramen here back again. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Breakout, the fifth pack, sorry, fifth expansion to Dot Hack Enemy by Decipher Games. If you watched the previous episode, you know what happened to Decipher Games. Essentially, they uh, had some issues with embezzlement and uh, financial issues with uh, games falling, not necessarily out of popularity, but definitely declining in popularity in the 2005s. And um, by December of 2005, that they decided that uh, Dot Hack was expendable, I guess. Um, I guess by comparison to popularity to other games that they had, which were games like Star Trek CCG, um, Star Wars CCG, Lord of the Rings CCG, um, and a few games like that. I, I feel like... Star Wars CCG is the most well-known. Um, I did get introduced to Star Trek as well, but um, Star Wars is the one that stuck in my mind. We have a booster box here of Dot Hack Enemy Isolation. Um, in here, we are looking for phases as well as Kubia cores and, I guess, Kubia in general. Um, Breakout was the last... Um, expansion they did for it and they ex they uh, expanded on the card types by adding dilemmas although there were some dilemmas in isolation the dilemmas are much more not dilemmas they didn't add dilemmas in, in uh, breakout they added illegal cards cards that were that just literally said illegal on them so let's take a look wiseman 2.0 by the way it starts out three uncommons and then a rare followed by a bunch of commons there's going to be super repeats of commons so i'll go through them really quickly and eventually we're not going to look at them at all wiseman 2.0 terror cyclone with uh, sora fa rai cruise with bt and our rare here is miasma wyvern Little Doggy, Fire Spear, Water Wand, Oborozukio 2.0, Peace 2.0, and Rhyzine, followed by Tartarga, which is the illegal card that I was talking about. There's multiple different illegal cards. They are um, part of the, I want to say they were called the Slums, um, place where Helba existed, the legendary hacker. Um, it's an area where a bunch of failed characters reside. Kubia Core. This is what I was talking about. Kubia Cores. Um, Terror Cyclone. Crimson Knight. Uh, our rare for this one is Sieg 2.0. Um, Snip Snap Brigade. Peace 2.0. Unicorn Blade. And here we go. Spiritus. This is illegal. Um, Swordman, S Swordmanoid Column. Justice 2.0, Razine. Um, I didn't know there was common illegal cards, too, which is going to be interesting. I mean, you're going to see it. You're going to see lots and lots of Spiritus. We're not going to go into great deals of depth here. As quick as possible. Harpy Flock. Uh, Juka Tempest. Uh, Hades Hound. And our rare is Spear Core MK3. Fire Spear, Hatchet, Wiggly, Kazu 2.0, Clint, Clint, Klima, Klima 2.0, Doberman Pack, Chicken Flock. Next up. Ugh, this pack is really messed up. I had a pack that was so badly cut, I wonder if we'll get run into one of those. Double Sweep. Undead Voodoo, Flame Pack, and our rare is Necrotic Eye, which looks like it's straight out of Yu-Gi-Oh. Scary stuff. Lamia Assassin, Deathhead. Um, not going to pronounce that again. Pippi, Fire Spear, Hatchet, Wiggly. Next up. My tripod recently broke. The way I have it, uh, the camera set up right now is kind of ghetto, but it's funny. Literally holding it on a pop socket in a jar. Subaru. Subaru. 1.0. Uh, Scorpion Brigade. Vac Maxima. Followed by our rare, which is Kubia Stage 4. So there's quite a few of these Kubia cards in here. Uh, and, and I don't know if they start from Kubia Stage 1 and they go through... I think there's 8 stages. Um, we'll find out as we go through here. Um, but this is one of those core cards. Kubia Stage 4. Fuse Blades. Chicken Flock. Head... 
Headhunt Lair, Kazu 2.0, Monkey Crab, Razin, Kaka Singer. I don't know what that is. It's not a scarecrow, that's for sure. Dang, these packs are rough. Uh, skonk, so illegal. Um, not that you can't play it, it's just an illegal tag. I don't know what that means. Harpy Queen, uh, another illegal Doran. Um, and our rare for this one is Pazuzu. Snip Snap Brigade, Cyan 2.0, Monkey Crab, Kaka Singer, Little Dog, Seeker, and Earth Sword. There's 27 commons, 27 uncommons, 27 rares, and then a whole bunch of... Or I think there's nine. Um, um, whatchamacallit? Super rares. Could be a core one... Or a one. I mean, I guess something similar. Uh, Crab Brigade, Scorpion Brigade, Phoenix Fire, Phoenix's Fire. This is our rare for the pack. Cyan 2.0, Headhunt Lair, Seeker, Pippi, Wiggly... Um, Thea, Earth Sword. Thea was an um, illegal. I think this is the first and only set that had the illegal, and I wonder if they were planning on doing more before things started kind of going south for them. Would have been really interesting to see. I know Helba could have ended up in there a little bit, or I guess not. I guess she was. I don't know how she fit in as far as like legal versus illegal. Room Spiral. Skull Hero, Moonlighter, and our rare for this one is Sieg 2.0, Monkey Crab, Lamy Assassin, Death's Head, the Headhunt Lair, Little Doggy, um, Tar Tartarga, and Justice 2.0. So we're already seeing likely most of the commons at this point. I'll go through a couple more packs where we see the commons, but after that we're probably just going to skip right through them because there isn't really much else to see. Harpy Flock, H Hades Hound, uh, Comad Goo. Kite's Bracelet. That is neat. This is how he did his data drains. Which has something to do with the phases and possibly with Kubia? I didn't watch the first four DVDs um, that came with the, the actual games for Dot .hack. Uh, because they only came with the games. Um, so I don't know a whole lot about that part of the storyline. I watched right after that with the key of the twilight. The one with Subasa. Anyway, moving on. Hatchet, Peace, Cyan, uh, guy I'm not going to pronounce, Snip Snap, Monkey Crab, Kaka, Kaka, Kaka. Oh, maybe that's what that was. Kaka, because it's attracting birds as opposed to... Scaring them away. Ruem Spiral. Ruem Spiral. PC Rachel 2.0. Defender Mail. And our rare for this one, B Commando. Monkey Crab. Rising. Kaka. Little Dog. E. Fire Spear. Water Wand. And let's go for it again. Oboro Zukio. 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 2.0. Yeah, no. Not worth trying to pronounce that. Uh, what dead games should I look at, guys? I mean, there's a ton out there. Dead dead card games, specifically. I've got quite a few that I'm looking at right now. Kubia Core A, Flame Pack, Undead Voodoo, Demon Wyvern is our rare. Death's Heads, Swordman, Sorbon, Sorbonoid Column, uh, Wiggly, Doberman Pack, Water Wand, Headhunt Lair, Cayenne 2.0. At this point, we don't need to see the commons anymore. We're just going to skip through those because it looks like we've seen pretty much every single one. I think the next one I want to look at is Mega Man. Um, maybe... I think there's a game called Cyberpunk I've seen on eBay I want to take a look at. Crimson Knight, Ruim Spiral, Fa Rai Cruise, and our Evil Horn is our rare. Followed by a bunch of commons and uncommons. Or commons. Yeah, it'd be kind of neat to see what some of these are. Um, Cyberpunk looks like an interesting game as far as from an art level. And uh, Mega Man NT. Everyone loves Mega Man, right? Let's gotta take a look at that. 
Undead Voodoo, Terror Cyclone, Kubia Core C. I wonder if there's a Kubia Core B. There has to be, right? Um, Skull Devil Gone is our rare, and then a whole bunch of commons. I wonder if I could still get a hold of the promos for this. Like I said, they had an organized play scene for a little while. Rachel 2.0. Wiseman 2.0. Heavy Metal Column. Followed by Kubia Stage 2. I feel like they do start with Stage 1, and they just go from there. Stage 1, 2, 3, 4. Obviously, I have up to 4. I think they have up to 6, maybe 8. Who knows? A whole bunch of rares, or rares, commons that we don't need to look at. So yeah, this is from Breakout. Don't hack enemy Breakout. There's 11 cards per booster. Harpy Flock, Crab Brigade, Defender Mail, and our rare is Kubia Core D. Apparently there's a D as well. I wonder if, have I seen a B? It'd be nice to see a B. This one's rare. Uh, and then we've seen all these. Kubia Core B, or D. Still no face. Still no foils. Really? Have I seen no foils? Odd. Okay. Flame Pack. Crimson Knight. Uh, Skonk. Followed by a rare, which is King Worm. Okay. There. Which I think Spiritus, you can see. Just very common. I wonder if there's a rare illegal. Who knows? I think Dilemma was in the third pack. Third set. Epidemic. Can't remember. Uh, House Golem. Comad Goo. Uh, Dorin. Followed by a rare, which is Aurora Feather. Moving on. I like opening packs. It's fun. Even if these are useless. Heavy Metal Column. Scorpion Brigade. Kubia Core A. Followed by Rainbow Tail. Which is not to be mistaken with our last rare. Who looks very, very similar. Which is kind of a dot hack thing. And I feel like an RPG thing in general. Recycle the image, but give it different coloration. Therefore, it becomes something different. Yeah, right. Kubia Core C. Colwitch. Col. Colwitch. He's missing some vowels. This is the first time we've seen this guy. Take up three cards from your discard pile. Into your hand. Wow. Item cards. Skull Hero, followed by a rare Krim 3.0. Oh, I guess they have 3.0s now, too. He's not foil, which means that he's not like. Oh, but he is extra rare. He's just not foil. Which. Is that real? I mean, how would I know? I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Crim 3.0, guys. Non-foil. I didn't know they could come in non-foil. I'm starting to doubt myself now. Very interesting. Next up. Come on. Could be a core B. Broom Spiral. Cool witch thingy. Astro King. It's a rare. Followed by a whole bunch of guns. Breakout! Epidemic. I don't know if uh, you watched my last video, but in the last video I explained that Epidemic, the third set, is very hard to come by. I found booster boxes, but they were like $299, and I'm not spending that much money for it. Maxima, Vac Maxima, Jealous Cobra, Chicka Tempest, Nega Guardian. Um, just simply because that's a crazy amount of money. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Magi Nation, but that is another dead card game, and some of the packs for that are so expensive. Not to mention, they're really hard to find anything good these days. It's a very, very dead game. Harpy Flock. Far Right Cruise. Jealous Cobra. And our rare for this one is Salu 2.0. Very nice. Ba -ba -ba. Was he a super... No, it's just regular rare. So confusing. Usually they're supposed to be foil, I swear. I know I'm not crazy. 
Skull Hero. Kubia Core A. Doran. Kubia Stage 3. So at least... Did I pull one of each? Oh, I haven't pulled Stage 1. But I got Stage 2, 3, and 4. Interesting. Uh, and a whole bunch of commons we don't need. Moving on. Can we get a phase? I want a phase. Just one phase. I didn't pull a phase from the last box either. I'm just like, really? Come on. Uh, Harpy Queen. Heavy Metal Column. Terror Cyclone. Subasa, or Sukasa. I keep calling him Subasa. I'm pretty sure I called him Subasa last episode, too. His name was Sukasa. Sukasa's wand. Not to be mistaken with Subasa. I sound like an idiot now. I'm gonna have to go back there and say something about that. Uh, a bunch of commons we don't need. Sukasa, by the way, was the emo kid, but he was actually somehow functioning as an AI outside of his own um, player character self because the player character... Well, I guess he's the player character, but the person who pilots the character... Um, fell into a mysterious coma, and so the character was kind of playing itself. And it was very strange, because he, he didn't understand what was going on, and he couldn't log out, and there was just a whole bunch of weird stuff around it. It's very strange. Uh, Jealous Cobra, Comad Goo, Subaru, 1.0, followed by the Ochi Musha Column. A whole bunch of columns. It's kind of crazy. Um, and this all has to do with the phases, and somehow Kubia gets mixed into this, because Kubia was created to balance out the game, which doesn't make any sense. Rachel 2.0, Wise Man 2.0, Crimson Knight, followed by Neptune Medusa, which is our rare, and a whole bunch of comments. What's the app? Oh, we already knew that. It's been years since I've seen the series, years since I've seen the games, years since I've actually seen any of the cards, so it's kind of crazy. Cold Witch, Moonlighter, Harpy Queen, followed by our rare, which is a phase. Yes, we got one! We got the one, Corbinic. It's a phase. So these are the phases, um, each one of them, this is the rebirth. There's actually two phases, I think, in this set. Corbinic and then the phase just after this one. So this is phase five. I think phase six is the next one, or is also in the set. Um, they're just interesting. They're they're not supposed to be part of the game. I think they're they're uh, glitch or something to that effect. And everything they interact with ends up uh, getting corrupted. And and I think if it interacts with player characters, then the person who's playing that player character character falls into a weird coma. It's a very strange thing. Skull Hero, House Golem, Kubia Core C, followed by Mistral 2.0. Yeah, yeah. No foils. Really? Am I not getting any foils? I didn't get any foils. What a strange booster box. Oh, well. C'est la vie. Is it possible to not get foils? I mean, we got super rares, so I guess it is. Uh, Subaru 2 or 1.0 Brigade and Skull Devil Gone, followed by Junk. Last pack. Fa right cruise. House Golem. House Golem. Uh, flame pack. Followed by Sukasa 2.0. It's just a regular rare. No, he's an extra rare. Why are these not in foil? Do they just mess up? I feel like these are all supposed to be in foil. Are these fake? Now I'm wondering. That's why you don't buy things on eBay. But I can't really prove that these are fake. So we'll just go from there. I've never seen extra rares not foil, but... But then again, in the, on the website, when they were talking about breakouts specifically, they were talking about extra rares and then premium foils. So maybe I'm just going crazy and they changed some things for this. Either way, folks, that 
was Sukasa, and this is the ice or breakout booster box, which was the fifth in the series. If you like watching these videos, especially if you like watching unboxings of dead games that don't exist anymore and you want to ever see some more, please like and subscribe and definitely leave some comments below. I always love to hear from you guys. Also, give me suggestions for games you want to see. Keep in mind, though, that some of the booster boxes are kind of hard to get. Obviously, if we're looking at a price tag of $299, like the booster box for Epidemic, it's a little outside my ability to grab but I would definitely grab things that are that are easier to grab that are definitely dead just so that I can show this content to you guys and until next time guys peace